It's been a year since I started producing and releasing music. In this video I'm going to tell you what I've learned and what mistakes I've made throughout this year. At the end of the video I'll also tell you how much money I've made over the last 12 months. Hey this is Pinyu and before we start I just want to tell you that on 11th of October 2019 I'm releasing my next single so if you watch this video before 11th of October you can pre-save this track using the link that you can see on the screen if you watch this video after 11th of October 2019 you can listen to this track by following the link that you can see on the screen at the moment the first thing is that producing music is actually a complicated process although it is easy to start and you just need a bit of software and you're ready to go then the full production uh, line is actually quite difficult before your track is released it needs to go through a complicated process of mixing and mastering which requires a lot of knowledge and experience and this is something I've been struggling with quite a bit over uh, over the last 12 months and finally I'm starting to get uh, better results uh, with this so hopefully you will see my next releases will uh, sound better from the technical point of view but this is something that I think many people underestimate uh, when they start making music that the actual the whole process before your song can be played on the radio or be released to streaming platform it has to go through mastering and mixing that is a complicated process that requires a lot of knowledge another thing I've learned is that marketing is very important you can have the best song in the world but if you don't let people know about it nobody will listen to it there are some exceptional songs that don't require a lot of marketing but most of the songs are just good or okay-ish and they need a lot of marketing to be listened to by by other people especially if you're not very well known and you're just getting started with with music so that's why I'm on Facebook, that's why I'm on Instagram, that's why I'm on YouTube and I'm making these videos to let people know about me and let people know about my music. So maybe some of them can can find me that way and then maybe some of them will listen to my music and maybe some of them will stay with me for longer and subscribe or uh, follow me on social media and will continue to listen to my music. Another thing I've learned is that there is a lot of competition because it's, it's so easy to start making music a lot of people do it and there is approximately 40,000 daily uploads to Spotify of new songs and tracks that's a lot of competition because of that you have to work very hard on your music and you have to work also very hard on your marketing Another thing I've learned is that making money is very difficult in the music business. It's difficult to make money if you're not doing gigs. It's difficult to make money if you're doing this part-time as I do. But even if you do all of this and you do all of these things right, it's still quite difficult for your music to be listened to by a large number of people. So you can hopefully make money and make a living out of music. Okay, another thing I've learned is that my music is too broad. Because I, li I like to listen to different type of music, I thought that I can make different type of music. And I don't think that's a good thing. People need to associate you with a specific type of music. I'm still working on this, I'm not, I haven't quite figured out what kind of music I want to produce and make. Uh, I like piano and electronic music and probably stay somewhere in these areas but I'm not really quite sure exactly which direction I'm going to go. I'm, currently I'm experimenting a little bit with different kind of music and I'll see how that goes and then maybe I will follow a specific genre of music 
that will become my thing for years to come. Another thing I've learned is that you shouldn't release music too frequently. I was planning to release music every week at the beginning or even every other week and I realized that it's too often and I'm now trying to release one track a month and this is because before and after the release you have to do some marketing let people know that your music is going to be released and then after it's released uh, try to get your songs on a playlist and send to some people to listen to it maybe send to radio stations and that all requires time that's why this time between and after the release is very important for marketing and promotion because I do everything myself I need this time uh, not to work on the actual music but to work on promotion another thing is that I kind of lowered my expectations uh, when it comes to music over the last 12 months I thought when I released my first single people will be going crazy about it but it's not that simple and you have to work very hard and very consistently for your music to be heard so this year humbled me a lot and made me more patient when it comes to music but it didn't discourage me completely from doing music another thing i've learned is that the more i do it the more i like it uh, i've learned a lot about music production process over the last 12 months and that will all that also enabled me to appreciate other artists that i know for years for example because i now know how much effort it requires to compose produce and then market music organize uh, concerts if, if if that's the case then i know how much work it is and makes me more appreciate other artists that do this for years. I still get frustrated sometimes when I can't get the sound I want and I have some technical difficulties but most of the time I love it and the more I do it I love making music even more. When I first started I wanted to play live but at the moment I see playing live and playing gigs as a quite bit quite a bit of undertaking so currently I'm not planning to play live this may change but I'm not doing anything at the moment towards it because it will require too much time for me and because music is not my full-time um, occupation then I will leave that for later uh, for the moment but I understand that doing this is quite a good way to get yourself and your music out to the people so when the opportunity comes around then maybe I will consider this but at the moment I'm not planning on doing anything any live performances another thing is that I decided that I'm probably gonna make songs so I was planning to do only instrumental music when I first started but now I have a few ideas about some songs and I'm not sure where and how but you may hear some songs when I'll be actually singing uh, in some time in the future. Another thing I've learned is that producing music takes a lot of time. You not only have to create a track but then you have to promote it, do all the social media, graphics and all of this it takes time it takes a lot of time and you have to do a lot of it for this to have any positive effects on more people listen to your music so yeah it does take a lot of time to promote and, and, and make your music another thing I've learned is that being in the music business can cost a lot of money so you have to be careful how you spend your money you can spend a lot of money on software on hardware, on marketing, people will be offering you and approaching different products. So you need to be very careful how much you want to spend, how much you want to invest 
and how much profit potential profit that can give you I'm trying to be careful and not spend too much money and keep my expenses uh, to a minimum but uh, still it does require some investment but luckily these days most of the uh, essential things are relatively non-expensive and if you don't overspend you don't need a lot of money to keep your sort of music business running and that's it and as we were talking about money it's time to reveal how much money I've actually made throughout the last year and this is it as you can see I've made around 16 pounds over the last 12 months this is money just from the streaming platform but I don't make any other money any other way so yeah as you can see it's not a lot and I'm not going to I'm not going to cash in yet so I'm going to rein, reinvest that money for for next year so we'll see how that goes uh, I think I've learned a lot throughout this uh, first year as a music producer and I think next year is going to be much better so I'm looking forward to it I hope you will stay with me if you watch this video also please please consider subscribing apart from my music I also record uh, videos like this every once in a while and share my uh, some of my adventures if I go out and about so I would love to have you with me uh, if this is something you would be interested in so that is it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below and please also listen to my new release time travel if you watch if you watch this video before 11 of october please pre-save the spotify link but if you watch after you can go directly to your favorite streaming platform and just search for time travel by pinu and yeah i would love to hear from you what you think about this uh, release and some, uh, some of my other music. Thank you very much again and see you again soon.